Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Women leaving men who supported them. Yeah, I'm about to get into it. Might go into a little bit of a rant, but just a little bit. Y'all know how I do. My rants are kind of calm. Anyway, right? I will just be flowing. But before I get into that flow, right? I want to uh, just take care of some housekeeping. Um, first, uh, check out check out Negro Manosphere. Check out all my articles over there. Uh, check out all the great writers that are over there just doing the thing. The site is growing by leaps and bounds. So definitely, definitely check that out. Uh, check out my other channel, Ron Wills, about that business. Um, I'm about to start uh, throwing some political stuff on there. Might even change the name of the channel. To reflect a more uh, political view. Because politics and business. By anybody who's really familiar with it. Are similar. As I said in a video over there. If you really want to know what's going on in politics. Read the financial pages. The Everything is economic. And it affects the politics. So they're hand in hand. And one thing. Um, there's been a lot of people. Who were asking if I had a Patreon. Um, you know, some people will really want to support me in that way. I actually have one, but it's not active. And one of the things is I, I do more than just uh, videos. You know, I also have several books out and I'm actually working on a book project now. And also a few other things to uh, really get myself out there. So I just really haven't had time. But if um, there's anyone who really wants to support me, I still have a donate link in my description box. And also many people, I do have actually a subscription channel. Uh, it's um, in the description box as well. Connect, it's uh, www.connectpal.com rom, rom wheels raw. Uh, and that's a brotherhood. Let's just keep that clear. It's a brotherhood, but that's where I really go deep. And there's some men on there. Uh, it's an international brotherhood. There's some men on there who've made some real progress. And that's, that's where I really cut loose at. So check that out. Uh, like I say, if you want to donate, check out my donate button. Um, support my other channels. Definitely support uh, the books. I have a lot of powerful information in the books. You know, you can go to my main website, romwills.com for that. All right. So that's out the way. Women leaving men who support them. You know what? Like uh, many YouTubers, I get a lot of private messages, a lot of videos, uh, requests. And this young man who wanted to re remain anonymous, he sent me, um, he sent me this uh, story. All right. And he was talking about this woman who was supported by this blue collar man. You know, he, she didn't have anything. She didn't have anything. This dude supported her through school, through graduate school. She ended up becoming a professional. But then she didn't want him after she did all that because he was a blue collar man and he was no longer on her level. You know, that story struck me because that's something because we always, always, always hear about women who support some man to become something and then he don't want her anymore. Which, I'm going to be honest, if that woman truly support him, truly supported him, I, I fault the man in that regard. You know, somebody got your back, you, 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 you do everything you can to work things out. That's bottom line. That being said, women do the same damn thing, but it's just kept quiet. You know, over the years, I've encountered so many men who, you know what, they were blue collar. A lot of times it is they blue collar, but you know what, it's also maybe some other professional type of guy or something. Whatever the case, the woman, he basically paid the woman's way through school, supported her, did everything. And then when she get to a certain level, she forget like all of a sudden about this guy. And she's like, well, you're not on my level anymore. Shoot. I mean, I've, I've heard some stories. You know what? 
I remember I was in a barber shop, heard this one story, right? This guy had supported his woman all the way. And to the point she was she ended up uh, working in a law firm, right? But then here's the story. The law firm was laying off people, right? And you know, the woman was all distraught and everything. So she went, hey, she went to the boss. You know, and this was a sister. The boss was a white guy, right? You know, and she was saying, you know, how she really needed a job and everything. And the way the story went, dude just took his pants down, took his dick out. And let's just say she ended up keeping the job, you know, but ended up rolling away from her husband. You know, you get situations like that because that's that's one of the quiet things kept see the narrative we have out there is how long-suffering women are and just to be clear this ain't nothing against women but look we we gotta start telling the truth out here there's a whole lot of men whole lot of blue collar men especially who they're not intimidated by a woman's success because they see her success as their success because the men are going into it who support their women they thinking we you know, that's just their nature. You know, when I, you know, when um, people are familiar with the house of the man, those are the warrior types. They don't mind. You know, they want to. They want to see their women get up there because they're thinking, hey, you know, this is a we thing. This is good for the family. But sometimes the women get up there and they, they, they conveniently forget that this man worked two and three jobs to get them to where they at. This man supported them in school, helped out around the house. You know, this man put up with a whole lot. Because you just have some men devoted like that. Now, just to be clear, don't call them simps. You just have some men like that. They Because the men are thinking, hey, this is for the family. You know, what? and then the men genuinely love the women. And then the men are not intimidated. See, that's that's a big thing. See, a lot of women... You know, to get to a level, and then he tries to say the man's intimidated by him. The man don't give a fuck about him like that. Because I'm questioning that when women say that. It's like women like to say, well, I don't know anybody like that. I've met maybe a couple of men in my life who honestly said something about a woman intimidate, intimidated them. But these are also the same type of guys who would probably get their ass kicked anyway and just some straight up bitches anyway. I'm just going to be real with it. But any man who got like any size of balls on him, he's not intimidated. He's like, hey, baby, go ahead. You know, go ahead, do that thing. But see, women forget about that. And then some women, you know what? They will get that guy who has resources and use him until they get to a point and then they're like, oh, well, you know what? I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Like just deliberately using him for his resources. And this stuff happens. And see, a lot of women, they'll hear this and they'll say, oh, Ron being mean and all that. I'm like, no, this is what men are going through. This is why many men are going their own way. This is why many men are just like, you know what? I don't want to be bothered with marriage. This is why many men become dogs. Because these things happen. I mean, people try to play it off and try to say, oh, no, the women ain't doing it. It's the men. It's the men. No, we're not going to go for that narrative. It's too many men who have done that. And really, it could be, it's probably even more than... Uh, people realize because many men they'll just be quiet about it because you know they might have some shame about it like a woman used them like that or you know they got some pride about them but here's the truth many women will do that and they'll come up with some bullshit i mean (laughs) i've seen so many i've seen cases where men have been like you know, working two and three jobs, the women are stay at home moms and the women complaining. And act like they doing some shit. It's like you a stay at home mom, baby. Hell, apparently that's the case with that thing with Jesse Williams and his uh soon to be ex wife. Yeah, she supported him all those years, but in recent years apparently he was doing the support. 
you know now that's not the same as this thing is uh a woman leaving a man who supported him but you know it's still along those lines though maybe you know not directly but it's a cousin and you know they'll say you know women will find every reason and it's just like hold up hold up hold up first of all like the original story i was telling i mean how the hell you didn't have shit this dude sacrificed then all of a sudden you just like boom and you know the lesson men are going to get is well women don't really love a man see ladies complaining women out here complain about how men behaving right and there's some dogs out there i mean let's be real but you got a lot of men who just you know they just trying to do the right thing they ain't perfect but fuck it they human they trying to do the right thing and you got so many you got some women who just make it really bad for other women see a lot of this stuff women need to be checking just like women say men need to be checking other men which men will do let's just just keep it 1000 men will check other men you can see that right on youtube if you really want to look that's why you get all these beefs between YouTubers, male YouTubers, because we will check each other. But I don't see women like, hold up, see that woman who uh, was supported by a man, uses his resources and then moves on. That makes it harder for the next woman who got a sincere heart. No joke. Now, what y'all want to do? Like I said, y'all need to speak up, but if y'all don't, that's on you. But this is still an issue. They, and really, it's, it's even deeper than a relationship thing. You know, people got this thing. They just, they just, I, I, I. And thinking, oh, yeah, let me get over on somebody. I'm like, nah. Shoot, people have gotten killed behind that shit. So think, I would think about it. Like, it's like, you know what? A lot of stuff that women will say men are doing. You know, women doing it too. Just quieter about it. And all of it needs to be checked. You know? And, and like I said at the beginning, if a man has a woman who supported him, had his back, he really shouldn't be quick to move on. He worked that shit out. Just to be clear, don't don't say I'm saying, I don't want anybody coming back saying, oh, I'm saying one one side should do something and didn't say something to the other side. I've said that tw- now. I've said that twice in here that a man, if a w- if he got a woman who's actually supporting him, and got his back, even if there's issues, work the shit out. But that thing, uh, that's something that's not talked about a lot. You get a lot of men who've done it. I, I've I've heard it. even they. I mean, even if the men were like maybe had a high school education, willing to put their women through school. I mean, I've met a I've met a PhD like that. She was like, she, and she, she was actually appreciative of her husband because she was like, you know what? He realized she could get a little bit further than he could. He's willing to do what he could. I mean, it is what it is, but we need to, we need to, we need to recognize that. And people overall just need to get good sense. I mean, and this is overall, this ain't really a, a woman thing. This ain't a man thing. People need to get off of that, like romantic childish shit you gotta have a little bit of honor when you're dealing with a, a member of the opposite sex if they with you now if you if there's something about them that you didn't really like to begin with you need to be straightforward and honest shout out alan roger curry just tell them straight up what the deal is you know it's like i like to say and i've told people in that brotherhood on my subscription channel you know and i told this to the men it's like you can bullshit a woman just don't lie to her and what I mean by bullshit is like, yeah, baby, I drink your bath water. Something like that. You know, something that make her laugh and something. But don't lie to her. Just be honest what your intentions are. What do you want with her? You know, if you want to just get with her every now and then, let her know. I mean, I've lost some sex behind that. But I was, the women had to look at me and just say, hey, you know what, Rum, you were honest with me. That's why I'm cool with like over 90 percent of the women i've dealt with in life you know because i just they knew exactly where i was going so or they knew exactly what i wanted from them and what to expect from me and at the same time i've had women just say hey you know what you know what wrong 
you were cool. It was great being with you and everything. But we can only hook up every now and then. My heart belonged to this dude. It was like, pff, cool. Because then I knew. But anyway, right? What y'all think about that? that that's uh, bullshit right there. <laughs> that's some bullshit. It is wrong. People got to think about how they treating somebody. And people got to think about, hey, if somebody's supporting you, hey, really learn to appreciate that. Because love ain't always about bringing some flowers and whispering sweet nothings or even mind-blowing orgasm. Sometimes doing that little, that little stuff, you know, making sure the gas is in the car, getting groceries, you know, supporting a person when they're trying to get an education or something. Oh, that's love, too. And that's a violation of love when somebody can't appreciate that. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.